Welcome to our presentation. We are here today to talk to all enterprise planning and former enterprise planning clients that have already moved to TM1. We wanna make sure you know that you could be at risk of your licenses being migrated to the wrong part number, which could cause you to be out of compliance. So this is a really important issue. I'm Heather Cole, founder of Lodestar Solutions. I'm gonna share with you what changes IBM has made to their licensing that affects clients that are either on enterprise planning today or were on enterprise planning and moved to TM1. Now it's important for you to know that IBM is forcing enterprise planning clients to make a decision. And that decision is whether you want to stay on enterprise planning or fully move to TM1. Now there may be some of you out there that have used planning in the past, moved to TM1, but not all your models are moved over yet. So you at this point need to make a decision. So what IBM's doing basically is they are saying that the part number that you had previously called the enterprise planning contributor, that part gave you dual rights. And we'll talk about the history of this. And they now are taking away the dual rights in July, 2019. So you have a choice. You can either stay on planning or you can migrate to planning analytics fully. There's no more dual rights, so you gotta pick a path. Now for some of you, you may have already picked a path. You may be already moved to Team one but this affects you too because if you don't take action, the system within IBM will automatically transfer your licenses and chances are they're gonna transfer you to the wrong licenses. So let's give you a little history of Cognos planning. So originally, back in the day, it was called a datum. So some of us were around then. I used to head up the pre-sales team at a datum a very long time ago. Then Cognos bought a datum and they rebranded a datum to Cognos Enterprise Planning. Then IBM bought Cognos and renamed it IBM Cognos Enterprise Planning. And then IBM also bought Applex, which is formerly a name for TM1. What they did is they really wanted clients to move off the enterprise planning and onto TM1. So they gave people with enterprise planning contributors dual rights. So rights to be used on planning as well as on TM1. And that's for your end users, the contributors. Um, and a lot of you moved to TM1, but some of you didn't. And even if you moved, IBM's gonna change that enterprise planning contributor license once again. So here's what's happening. You get a pick a path, stay on planning, or move to TM1. Now you may be saying, Heather, well, we don't know enough to, to move yet. We need to learn more, and we can help you with that. But today, instead of going into that analysis, which we have other webinars for, we are gonna just tell you what's happening with these licenses and what action you need to take right now. So here's the bottom line. IBM is saying no more dual rights, so you have to take action. If you previously had planning contributor rights that, that had no TM1, more than likely those licenses were traded up or exchanged into the enterprise planning contributor. And what you're looking for is the word enterprise. That's the license that gave you dual rights for TM1 and, and planning. Now, what's happening now is that in July 2019, IBM is saying, no, no, you have to choose no more dual rights. So we're either going to magically morph your licenses into enterprise planning users. Now note, those do not, I repeat, do not have TM1 rights or you can trade up at renewal time or possibly exchange depending on your situation into the performance management user. Now the performance management user is the TM1 user, kind of like the TM1 contributor without workspace. So that if you've seen the new workspace, which is a really cool reporting tool for TM1, it is not included. You can buy that as an add-on but it will no longer have planning rights. So the older licensed software you can't use anymore. So you gotta pick a path, either going to the green box or the dark blue box. Now, what I've noticed, and we don't know why it's happened, but IBM is working on it. For some of you, within the last six months, IBM Agit went ahead and changed your licenses from enterprise planning contributor. Now I've reached out to some of our clients that we know this happened to, and 
they magically morphed the licenses into these enterprise planning users. Now, that's a bad thing if you've already moved to Team One, because if you were to get audited and you had these enterprise planning user licenses, then you would not be in compliance if you were using TM1. So what you're gonna look for on your entitlements is either D1 V as in Victor, seven Y L L, that's the part number for the license, or the renewal part is E0 N as in Nancy, W5 L L. If you have those on your entitlements, you do not, I repeat, do not have TM1 rights. So we may have an issue, but Lone Star can help you solve that. Remember, after July of 2019, that's not that far away from now, there will be no trading enterprise planning to TM1. If you're still on planning, however, guess what? Huge opportunity, because we can now still move you to TM1 and leverage the licenses that you currently have. So we can convert your enterprise planning contributors into performance management users. You don't have to buy any more users. You would have to buy an analytic server component, however. So here's the fabulous opportunity. The planning modelers, that's your power user, that's people that are using analyst, and the enterprise planning contributors are now a one-for-one -one exchange to planning analytics um, TM1 modelers and users. So what's gonna happen here is you only have to buy the analytics server and the recommended non-production environments. You could also, IBM has some great deals right now on planning analytics workspace add-on licenses. So that would give you some really cool dashboarding and reporting capabilities off your TM1 data. So great opportunity there. Previously, we couldn't exchange those modelers. So some of you may be halfway moved or you moved recently and your entitlements still have the older planning modelers on them. Guess what? We can exchange those at renewal time and trade them up so that they could be TM1 modelers. So huge savings there. I mean, that's like $17,000 worth of licensing. So if you've already moved to TM1 and planning analytics, you, we need to do something and, and use the right part numbers at trade up time. Now, I'm gonna warn you, most partners and most IBMers and most IBM support renewal reps don't understand all the nuances of this. Why does Lodestar know it? Because we're all the datum people. I've been doing this for over 20 years. And, and so we know the ins and outs of this licensing and we wanna make sure it's right so you don't get caught in an audit situation. You also, if you've already moved to TM1, please, please, please double check your PVU usage. The analytic server is based on a processor value unit. That means based on the core processing of your hardware, your servers. If your IT department moved you into a cloud environment, maybe you're in an Amazon cloud, they may have accidentally allocated too much power to you, which could cause you to have an audit issue and could cost you a lot of money. So we can help you walk through that and we have little cheat sheets on how you calculate what your PVU usage is. And then again, you may wanna consider adding on the workspace add-on. For those of you that move from planning to TM1, more than likely you do not have workspace. You've seen these great things about workspace, they are not included in your licensing. So that is a separate cost. Now I like to share a bigger, broader roadmap because I just think it's cool. And I think what IBM is doing is amazing. And so what we have here is, let's say you have planning analytics team on and you're collecting your forecast and you're using Cognos Analytics, the BI tool to report off that. So you got some great dashboards and, and bursting reports and everything. What a number of our clients are now doing is they're then taking SPSS, which is predictive modeling, to increase the accuracy of the forecast. So what it can do, it can churn through tons and tons of data and say, hey, based on what you guys are forecasting, what your, maybe your salespeople are forecasting, and what we know in all this data, we think the forecast actually should be this. So the system goes through historical data, looking at um, all sorts of different trending and modeling capabilities. Now then we take it the next step. So that was predictive modeling, so make it more accurate, right? 
what will really happen. And then they add on what's called C-plexor optimization. Now, this is where IBM just takes it to another level. And this is how to optimize your resources given your forecast. So how do you optimize inventory or people and routes? So we have clients then transportation that they're using this to help optimize the routes and the inventory and their distribution channels um, to make sure that, you know, let's say you're a transportation company and a hurricane hits Florida, God forbid. Um, I am in Florida, so we don't like hurricanes down here. But if it does, you may have to reroute your trucks and your ships and everything to get them in the right place. And so CPLEX can help you do that. So the end result is it, it once you have a good forecast, you need to know what to do with that forecast. And that's what CPLEX does. It optimizes and tells you, you know, now that you have this information, this is how you should act. So just know that IBM has a complete solution. Now, a little reminder here, what you're looking for in your enterprise planning or your entitlements is first off, you're going to look for if you have the Cognos Enterprise Planning User License. Okay, if you have that, that does not have TM1 rights and it is only for the older planning product. If you're already on TM1 and see this on your licenses, call me, I can help you. The IBM Cognos Enterprise Planning Contributors, this is the license that had dual rights. It will change most likely at your renewal time. If not, it's going to do it worst case scenario in July but we want to get to it beforehand because what's happening is the systems and the support renewal reps are told to convert those down to the the planning users so to not give them tm run rights most of you that's not going to be the right answer and then also looking for that enterprise planning modeler if you still have it and have moved to tm1 we want to trade those in too and get you some more tm1 modelers okay so timing is everything a lot of you are just finishing up your budget season and you're going to need a little funding if you haven't moved to TM1. If you decide you're a planning client and you want to move to TM1, or now known as planning analytics, you'll have 90 days to migrate. The best time to execute the migration is at your renewal time, but we can work through the numbers and help you and do it at a, a different time. If your renewal is, let's say your renewal is in August and you want to move to TM1 this spring so that you can do your budget season in August of 2019. So we can help you with that. Remember, after July 2019, the one-for-one -one exchanges expire. So you got to act now or you could lose out on a tremendous savings opportunity. So we have your back at Lodestar Solutions. So work with us. Let us know that you have a renewal coming up. We have tons of expertise in enterprise planning. If you decide to stay on the older product, that's fine. We we'll can help you and support you in that as well. So if you have questions on that, but we also know planning analytics in TM1 and have been doing a ton of migrations over the years. We understand the licensing and we're one of the few partners that really understand this particular migration strategy. So want to work with you. And so let's keep in contact. Here's my contact information. You can reach me on either emails, typically the best way to do it, or give me a call at my office. I do travel a lot, so um, that's why email is usually the best. We can help you with any new license purchases that you need and make sure you have the right licensing mix. It's amazing how many clients are in the wrong licensing model and spending way too much on the renewals. So we can help give you quotes on that. We have uh, consulting services that range from training to customized on-site training or web training to small projects where let's say you just need a couple hours of a senior consultant's time or a whole new implementation project. And we have our unique business analytics agile methodology, which we leverage some great tools that you're gonna love like Smartsheet to plan your upgrades and your migrations. Well, it looks like we are done for the day. So if you have any additional questions, please reach out to me and I look forward to working with you.